Septic systems are a common method of waste treatment that are implemented in millions of homes across the United States alone. But how do they work? This is a septic tank, which captures both solids and liquids for treatment and solids removal. Wastewater flows into the tank's primary compartment, filling up to the partition opening before flowing into the outlet, or second compartment. Both compartments will fill up to the outlet pipe, where the effluent flows from the tank to the disposal field. Incoming wastewater, or sewage, contains solids that settle at the bottom of the primary inlet compartment, with small amounts moving into the outlet compartment. Fats, oils, and greases will accumulate at the water's surface and is called scum. But because of the baffle wall, these solids will be retained within the primary compartment. This prevents any solids from leaving the tank and flowing into the disposal field. You can see how the septic tank handles both solids and liquids. Gases generated from anaerobic digestion of wastewater solids will accumulate above the liquid, along with gases entering from the outlet pipe, coming from the disposal field. These gases fill the airspace above the water level and by diffusion expand outward through the inlet pipe and exit the system through the home's roof vents. Treated wastewater, or effluent, exits the septic tank and flows to a distribution box, which distributes the effluent to two or more trenches. The effluent trickles over a gravel bed in the trenches and enters the pores in the soil, forming the trench bottom. Over time, the trench bottom will form a biomat, which will thicken and prevent water flow, allowing the trench to fill and the water level to be visible through an inspection port. Additional water will move upward through soil pores and provide plants with nutrients, promoting lush vegetation growth through a process called evapotranspiration. Septic tanks should be pumped every three years. The pumper will access both compartments to remove solids and liquids from both. Small amounts are always left behind and are essential to help establish healthy micro and macro biotic levels. A thorough understanding of septic systems contributes to the proper design, installation, operation, and maintenance of septic systems. These are essential to protect public health, the environment, and assure the lifetime of the system.